Hi spooky friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. So today I am doing another take on the if you like this movie you should read this book. So I did this last year, you really enjoyed it so I'm bringing it back again. So I'm going to start um this is a really short intro so you're welcome i'm usually doing really long intros so let's begin so the first one is if you like hocus pocus for the halloween vibes for the nostalgic trip if that's what you go into hocus pocus for then i'm going to suggest reading the halloween tree by ray bradbury this is a book that is so nostalgic it gives you like a warm cozy hug um it is set on halloween just like hocus pocus is um and you're following a group of kids who are transported through time and space to go back to different points in history where halloween is really important and where it stems from so i think it's beautiful it has nostalgic childhood like elements to the book and hocus pocus has that very cozy feel and i think that the halloween tree also has that cozy feel um yet they're both kind of scary they are childlike stories and yeah so much fun and i think that they are perfect um pairings together so the next one is if you enjoyed the craft for it's witches, um, it's potions, it's female protagonists, um, the sisterhood connection, then I'm going to recommend Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman. Practical Magic is around the sisters who are witches. They are kind of looked down upon in their society, but they have all of the magical potions and warm witchy feels um and so i think that that's kind of a good pairing to have um it is centered around witches and the wiccan sort of vibe so i think that practical magic would be something that you enjoy if you really loved the craft especially for that connection and um, practical magic really does pull together sisters in times of need and yeah, you can really feel that wholesome connection and warm, fuzzy, witchy vibes. So I think that they are good pairings to go together. Next up, I don't have like a Halloween movie, but if you liked Ex Machina, so if if you liked it for the sense of playing God, um, the creation, just making AI something bringing it to life, um, that side of things, then I'm going to recommend Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. This is a story that is centered around um, Dr. Frankenstein bringing to life a monster. And it is a classic story for a reason. Um, it's not one of my favorite ones, but um, I do enjoy the themes that Frankenstein represents and how it has the sense of playing god with creation and kind of making something for your own gain and i think that if you enjoyed ex machina for that side of things then you may end up enjoying frankenstein too i'm going to stick with the classical theme so if you enjoyed let the right one in for its vampire lore then i'm going to recommend dracula as a classical story dracula is like the perfect vampire story and if you haven't read it yet then i am going to suggest that you pick it up but if you have then i'm going to suggest picking up mina and the undead by amy mccall this is a vampire story it is set in the 1990s and um, so it has a nostalgic feel so you have two options for this one so if you enjoyed the babadook um this is a horror movie so it's not centered around halloween but it is centered around childhood fears um and trauma so if you enjoyed the babadook for the traumatic experiences the childhood fears um of this entity then i'm going to suggest um a pretty common book as well 
and that is It by Stephen King. It delivers on childhood trauma and childhood fears and I think that that pairing is like the perfect mix because you do get those elements in both mediums. Um, It is just so much longer so if you are going to pick it up it's probably going to take you a long time Um, but it is so worth it. The connections that these friends have, the issues that they go through, the fears, the traumas and the monster. So I would suggest picking that up if you haven't read it yet. So next up is The Mist. So The Mist is originally a book by Stephen King but it is a TV series. I think they've also done a Netflix version as well. The Mist is centered around cosmic horror uh, so I'm going to take that element of The Mist and recommend anything by H.P. Lovecraft. H.P. Lovecraft is like the king of cosmic horror. He has so many cosmic stories. Um, I don't think that there is one that really stands out um, as such to recommend against The Mist. I just think he has so many really good options um, and especially for the unknown side of cosmic horror. Um, I think I would lean towards The Colour of Space. Um, That was probably one of my favourite ones from H.P. Lovecraft. So yeah, just anything by this author I think would be a really good pairing if you enjoyed The Mist. And then if you enjoyed The Blair Witch Project for the found footage style rather than the actual contents of the story, if you just enjoy found footage elements, then I'm going to suggest picking up episode 13 by Craig DeLuey. Episode 13 is a story that is centered around a group of paranormal investigators. The book is set up as a found footage style. There's a lot of different elements. There's different mediums. We have like scripts, emails, actual storylines, cut twos, filming. There's a lot of different found footage elements in episode 13 so I think if you enjoyed the Blair Witch for the fine footage elements then I think you'll really enjoy episode 13 for that as well then if you really enjoy serial killers and if you enjoyed American Psycho um, for example for the serial killer element then I think you'll really enjoy Mayfly. Mayfly follows a girl who lives a double life she is a Disney princess during the day and killer by night. So it has like a juxtaposition kind of style centered around a killer. It has been said to be kind of like the female version of the American Psycho. So I think that, yeah, you might enjoy Mayfly if you haven't read it yet. I think another one that I would recommend is You'd Look Better as a Ghost. This is a story that is not centered around like a serial killer as such but it is a more comedic thriller style um we follow a woman who loses her dad and goes on a killing spree it's kind of like a similar aspect but it's not it's a more comedic version so i think if you have read mayfly then you should check out you'd look better as a ghost and finally the last one i'm going to talk about is scream so if you enjoyed scream for the final girl element then I'm going to suggest picking up the final girl support group by Gritty Hendrix. This is a story that follows final girls. They get together in this support group following their acts as a final girl. They discover that one of them has been killed and that they are going to be targeted next so they're trying everything they do to not die and discover who is causing all of this havoc essentially. So The final girl element to this is obviously a group of final girls put together. So I think if you enjoy final girl elements, then you'll really enjoy this book. So this is a real quick fire kind of recommendations video. Do let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. And now that the sun is beaming in, I'm going to end this video now. And thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep your pages turning and embrace the darkness. Bye.